Hey, what is going on guys? Welcome back to the most underrated PC building YouTube channel. So in today's video, because the used market price for PC parts are dropping exponentially, I was able to build this GTX 1660 Super and this Ryzen 5 3600X gaming PC for just under 650 Canadian dollars or for you Americans out there, just under 500 USD. So without further delay, cue the intro and let's get to the video. First off, for the CPU, I picked up this Ryzen 5 3600 for just $120 off Facebook Marketplace. It has 6 cores and 12 threads, has a base clock of 3.6GHz and a boost up to 4.2GHz. Even though this CPU is not the latest and greatest, the N2 CPU still provides great performance for gaming, streaming, and editing. To give whoever buys this PC a decent upgrade pad that is not limited by a cheap motherboard VRM design, I grabbed this ASRock B450M Pro 4 for just $40 off Facebook Marketplace. With this motherboard, not only does it support Support the latest and greatest 5000 series CPU, it can support up to a Ryzen 7 with minimum performance issues. Next, we have the cooling solution. Unfortunately, it did not come with one when I bought the Ryzen 5 3600, but luckily I had a copper bottom stock AMD heatsink in the studio. And to be honest, it's actually better than the stock one that comes with the 3600 if you buy it new. If you're not planning to upgrade to a Ryzen 7, this CPU cooler should be more than enough to handle the Ryzen 5 CPUs even with a little bit of overclocking. As for the RAM, I pick up this kit of 16GB 2x8 kick clock that 3200MHz DDR4 from AliExpress for just 60 bucks. At 3200MHz, it's gonna give the Ryzen 5 3600 the best price to performance ratio it could get, unless you could find a 3600MHz kit for 60 bucks. Moving on to the storage, I went with the M.2 SATA SSD at 128GB of capacity for just $25 on Amazon.ca. Of course, you can spend a little bit more to add more M.2 storage or get an NVMe drive which will provide faster speeds but I would like to save some money so I can add this 1TB hard drive that I was able to get for $30 brand new from Facebook Marketplace and with 1TB there should be enough for a lot of games and files. For the best part about today's build, it is this NVIDIA GTX 6060 Super which I was able to buy off Facebook Marketplace for just $250. It's an insane deal considering 6060 non-supers go for this price on the used market. And brand new, this car still goes for above $300. This graphics card performs between a GTX 1070 and an RTX 2060 while consuming less power. In order to power the whole system, I went with another 550 watt 80 plus white unit from Cooler Master, which I was able to get for $35 from a local computer shop. Right now, power supplies are getting more and more expensive, so $35 is actually a really cheap price for a brand new power supply. And don't let that 80 plus white rating shy you away from this unit. It honestly performs better than some of the 80 plus bronze units I've used. On top of that, with 550 watt, this system will be able to handle up to a RTX 3070 with ease. Finally, for the case, I was able to grab this Deepcool McCube 110 MATX case for just 60 bucks at Canada Computers. These go on sale pretty frequently, so if you can't find it for around $60, just wait until it goes on sale. This case is one of the best aesthetic pleasing cases to build in and flip with, but the airflow is not that great. Since the case only came with one 120mm fan in the rear, I swapped that fan to the front and added 3 ARGB PWM fans to the case, 2 on top and 1 in the rear, so that adds an extra 25 bucks to the build. And if you're also looking to flip PCs, you really cannot go wrong with ARGB fans because they definitely provide 10 more FPS. With all that being said, here's a quick price tally for today's build. Now, let's pull up the B-roll and then get to the benchmarks. So just a quick update, I'm selling a different PC. Um, and the person that wants it wants 32 gigabytes of RAM and I only have four of these sticks. So I'm going to take this out and replace these with the RAM in the other PC.
And that was the insane gaming PC for just under 500 USD. If you liked the video, please give this video a thumbs up. If you didn't, still give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. Now click on the thumbnails on the screen for more videos like this. See you guys next time.